How's it going, Catherine? Good. How are y'all today? Good. How are you, Bellamy? Good. Good. Did you get a haircut? Do what? Did you get a haircut, Bellamy? Yes. Oh, I like it. It's very cute. All they did was shape it. <laughs> yeah. Mine too. They shape it. <laughs> shape it. Yes. <laughs> Did well, y'all have a good weekend? Zoe got, Zoe got to start one of her summer camps this week. What are you doing, Zoe? Tell us about it. It's unicorn themed. Oh my goodness. Tell me what you made. Tell her what you made yesterday that lit up. Uh, you don't want to tell her? All right. She made I don't, it. I forgot. Your cool unicorn light. Oh. They painted a mason jar and put lights in it and it made it light up unicorn. It was really cool. I love it. Yeah. That's awesome. I love a good craft idea. Well, Bellamy remade our unicorn craft this weekend from our first oh. Zoom class. Nice. I made a long haired one this time. Yeah. Lots of yarn and play. Very, very good. I, I did, like that. I did like light colors. It was pink, purple, blue, white, and yellow. That's awesome. All right, looks like we have almost everybody in. Welcome guys, we're happy to see you again. Uh, uh, I, I know some of you were with us on Saturday. We had some technical difficulties with the, the room, but we had a good time Saturday. Thank you for joining us and we're happy you're here with us today. Um, this is Zoe and I'm Jen and we've got Catherine and Bellamy and we're going to be, uh, doing a cactus project today. So I'm gonna let Catherine show you what we're doing in just a second. Uh, so remember, turn your videos on so we can see you guys and you can show us your project along the way. All right, everyone. So we're gonna get started. First, I'm gonna talk you through our supplies and we'll also check in with Jen and see if she got any extra supplies on her side. Um, but the project calls for our recollections card stock. Of course, you can use construction paper or any other kind of paper. I would just say if you have some different ones to choose from, you wanna choose the thickest ones that you can um, because once you make your little cactus here stand up, having a little bit thicker paper helps. You'll also wanna make sure that before we begin, you're ready with our template. So you're just gonna to wanna to print out the template from online. So your paper crafts, the paper and the template to get you started. Then for decorating, your, I just grabbed some markers. Um, optional supplies are glue, some pom-poms to decorate with. Uh, you could use a pipe cleaner instead of the foam sheets for the bottom. You could use paper or any kind of other um, supply for the flower pot. And Jen is gonna show us a fun way to do the flower pot later with some toilet paper rolls. So lots of different ideas to help you uh, think of different ways to construct your cactus and your flower pot. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get our kid-friendly scissors and some adult-approved scissors and use our template to get started. So two ways to do this. One, you can take your template and just lay it over your piece of paper and cut both as you go. That's a little bit faster. Another option would be to take your template and cut out each item. So I'm going to lay it over today and cut it out. Catherine, do we want to show them where they can find the template? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. So Lindsay is helping us today. Um, so if you have a chat, you'll definitely want to reach out to Lindsay, and then we will also let her show us how to find our template. Lindsay, are you ready to show us? Yes, I am sharing my screen. Okay, here is the website, and we are already getting some questions about um, what to use instead of cardstock and the foam. So I know that Jen's going to talk about that in a second as well. So here is the template. And it is on that list of what you need. It's the last one. Can everyone see my screen? Yes. 
So hopefully you got the template. Um, we also are trying to make sure that we put those out there for you to reference at time of sign up so that you have a minute to uh, print it before the class. But if not, go ahead and pause, um, take a moment and print that out. Otherwise, situate yourself so that you can trace it on the screen without working you. We also always give the dimensions so that if you do decide to kind of free draw, you can use a ruler to help get the dimensions correct. So that's just one other way um, to make sure that you are ready to join us for the project. So Zoe and I, we do the uh, trace off of the screen method because my printer hates me, so I can never print it out. But that works really good. And I just take a little piece of tape and tape the paper at the top. That way it doesn't move. And it works really well to trace it just right there on the screen. That's perfect. I think that's probably, that might even be the fastest way, Jen. <laughs> it is for me. <laughs> yep. Okay, everyone. So uh, we're just getting started over here. I am tracing a template for my daughter, Bellamy, to cut out. And then I am going to lay my template over the paper and cut with you. So everyone might want to just go ahead, get yourself situated, get your template ready in whichever way you choose, whether it's on the screen, print it out, um, however you're, you're going about it. It is cutting time, my friends. So I, like I said, I'm using the Recollections cardstock. You can definitely use any kind of paper that you have on hand. You can use, it doesn't have to be traditional cactus colors either. I know a lot of times um, when we have everyone show us their craft, we see a lot of fun colors out there. So don't be shy. Um, definitely pick whatever kind of paper you want, whatever color um, speaks to you for this craft. But like I said, I'm going to be using just green cardstock, which follows along with the directions that we put out there. Um, the other thing to think about while you're cutting out your cactus is how you want to decorate it. So we have markers and some pom-poms and glue over here, but I am certain someone out there is going to want to use glitter. And we welcome all, <laughs> yeah, which is my daughter, along with many others. But we welcome all your different ideas for decorating, and like I said earlier, just in case you missed it, um, Lindsay is available in the chat for any questions or help that you need. She is right there alongside us and will raise any issues that you guys have as you're doing this. But right now I am just cutting out my cactus. I started with the little guy. I'll show you in just a minute. My daughter's asking how you make the slit, so we'll do that too as a group, guys. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna cut, cut, cut. Yeah, you got it. Um, and we do have two full cactus to cut out, so we'll give you some time to do that. So a little side note. Yeah. When you are tracing your template off of your computer screen, make sure that you include the little dashed lines that go uh, in the middle of the cactus template because you're gonna need those later to make sure that the cactuses go together. And I say that because I forgot to put mine on there the first time I traced it. That is a great tip, Jen. And one thing that I figured out um, that might help us too is you know, obviously it's a little harder to trace that line. So what I did was just kind of make a little mark on my uh, cut out of my cactus where the top of the line goes. I'll try to show you guys. So like on this one, I basically made a mark lining it up with the template where the top line goes and where it ends. So the top line on this one goes right here and then it ends right here. And then what I did was just take my ruler to make a straight line and that became my cutting guide. So you'll just use your template to help you guide the top and the bottom. You just make a straight line and use this as kind of your parallel marking point. So that was the way that I did it just to make sure that my lines lined up. I feel like we should have a joke with that, but I'm not prepared for a pun about lines today. There you go. All right. So 
You already had the one with the thumb. This is this one. So we're just continuing to cut. My daughter needed um, to start over on one of her templates. So I'm just now getting to my second cactus. Um, if anyone is still out there cutting along with me, I did my little guy first. And then now I'm about to start with the tall one. So we're ready to keep going. I have a question. From, yeah. Um, oh, we have one from Madeline. Says, do they only need one cactus? Totally and, up to you. And if you cut on the line on the template. So you're going to want to cut on the outside, of course, and then just the dotted line. So the other skinny lines on the template are for size reference. You're only going to want to cut that dotted line because that is how your cactus is going to go together. So I'll show you an example just so I think sometimes when you see the final, it helps you. So with this template, this one cuts down from the top. So as you can see, this is that one. With this template, this one cuts up from the bottom. So as you can see, and then that's what helps them slide together to make the 3D cactus. So just for a little demonstration, this is where we'll be headed. Okay. All right. So let me get my cactus cut out. And then I'll be right with you. That one's correct. Jen, how are y'all doing over there with your cutting? Everyone good? I think you're on mute. Thank you. Yeah, I do it too. <laughs> Talking to myself over here. I know. No, I just uh, I just cut out my cactuses as you can see. So using my templates, and I did your method. I like I like where you cut out the uh, put the sheet on top of the paper and cut them out together. That worked really well for me. So I'm gluing down the little um, puffs on here that look like the cactus flowers. So that's where we're at. Zoe's decorating her cactus. It's currently two-dimensional. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I love, um, if anyone is ready to move on to the next step, if you're for some reason done cutting, and you do want to work with something like glue for pom-poms or um, glitter today, I would recommend to go ahead and make that design decision right now and get your glue on your cactus. Um, I would love for you to have time for it to dry while we do the other elements instead of waiting to the end to do that and then having a hard time assembling your cactus. So like I said, if you are done cutting, if you're making one cactus or two or however many you're making, if you're doing anything with glue, whether it's glitter, pom-poms, um, you might wanna go ahead and get that part done so that you have some dry time. And I will show you while I'm cutting. Um, this is one of my favorite glues. I talk about it, I feel like, all the time. Um, but it's just a craft bond by Elmer's. It works really well for all different types of um, supplies and surfaces. So that's one of my favorites. Um, I did use it earlier today on the pom-poms that are on my cactus. And I did the same method where I cut out first. Um, I did a little bit of marker, then I glued while I finished my project and it dried just in time. So that is what I would encourage you guys to do. So I just want to remind you, you are cutting your cactus on the dotted line once you have your shape cut out. And um, for those of you who missed our tip earlier, my recommendation is to take your shape and line up at the bottom with the dotted line. Just make a little pencil mark and then scoot it over a bit, line it up with the edge. And then I just use my eyeball or my ruler to make that line just straight up and you kind of know where to put it. And that's what I'm gonna use for my scissor guide so that I can make that slit on the construction paper in the right spot. So that's what I do for all of my templates, just to help me get that slit right so that the assembly is easier on the back side. So I'm doing the tall cactus first and then I will move on and do the little cactus. All right, so making my slits. And 
We got two going and I still have two more. So if anyone's still cutting, don't worry. I'm still cutting too. So uh, while your cactuses are drying, one of the things you can do is make a little planter. And I know Catherine's gonna talk about this in a second, but if you wanna take the time while your glue's drying here and do something else that needs to dry, um, I made a little planter out of a toilet paper roll. So I just cut a section about an inch and a half off of the, the roll and I painted it with my favorite paint, which is the Creatology washable paint. And I just took red, brown, and orange and just kind of mixed them together. And I got this cool terracotta look. So that you could do at this point, that way it'll dry when you start assembling your cactus. And while you're painting this, your glue for your pom-poms has time to dry. And you can also- a out of question a from Madeline. If she could use felt for the cactus pot. Yep, absolutely. So I was gonna say, I think Catherine's gonna show you how to do this with foam, uh, which is totally fine. You can make it out of um, model magic or clay, uh, really anything you're, you know, Sky's the limit on these. Totally agree with that. Sky's the limit. I am going to use foam and I also figured out a cute way to use um, a pipe cleaner to make a little flower pot as well. So um, I think that that's another fun one. So I am done cutting out my cactus. So I have um, the big guy and the little guy. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead, um, do a little bit of marker, and then I'm gonna uh, put my pom-poms on next so that the glue can dry. So let me move these guys up here and just show you. So with the marker, I am just doing a cute little outline here um, to give him a little definition and border. And then what I did earlier today was I just did some lines and I took my pencil and made some little V's to make him some little pokes. I guess it's a her, cause I gave her eyelashes, but um, you can also add a cute little face to your cactus. I did eyelashes and rosy cheeks. Um, I remember when we Catherine, did our- Catherine, we have a question from Kennedy who wants to know if they should cut down the middle of their cactus before or after decorating? I would just cut it while you're uh, doing your, you're cutting out your template. So one time, that way too, while you're decorating, you know where that slit is gonna be. It will help you make sure that you don't glue over a part that's actually gonna be cut open. But um, I was saying, I know when we did our unicorn, a lot of people were adding some flair to theirs. We had unicorns with purses and necklaces, so feel free to um, make your cactus character come alive. So we are just tracing some borders on our cactus. And I would love for anyone who wants to show us in the chat kind of what they're doing, what colors they're using, how they're decorating. That is among the fun here, is getting to see what you all are up to out there. Oh man, we have some different colored cactuses. I knew this was gonna be my favorite part. Is there a neon cactus? There, there is a yellow cactus, there's a yellow and green cactus. I'm, I'm scrolling through, I wanna see if there's a rainbow cactus. We've had like rainbow every single episode of something. You know how I feel about neon colors and I do. There's, man, there's some really creative stuff out there. We've got people that are painting their cactus. Uh, oh, we've got some with giant flowers. I love the giant flowers. What are they making the giant flowers with, Jen? It's the bigger pom-pom. Oh, that's awesome. I know. No, I, I wish I had had some of those. <laughs> she picked all the baby ones. I picked all the baby ones, but I was thinking I could have gotten yeah. bigger pom-poms. I know. All right, so here's my first one. You can see I traced, went ahead and glued the pom-poms on. I'm gonna come back and decorate a little bit more um, in a couple minutes while that glue sets. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to this guy. 
I want to do my tracing and then like I said get the pom-poms on so that that glue has a chance or uh, yeah the glue has a chance to dry while we keep going about our craft yeah. and Bellamy wants to show you hers she did some really cute um, orange tracing and little black tick marks. I think it looks no, great. No, it's pink and then oh. it turns orange. Jen, my mistake. It's not orange, it's pink. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Orange on it. And it turned orange on it, you're right. The other thing I love about this craft is your lines don't have to be too perfect. In fact, it I think looks more realistic if they're a little wiggly, which is just my speed. Yes, I'm making mine intentionally wiggly. I know, I like made them too perfect on my first <laughs> one, and it looks so fake. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like a cucumber. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, so I'm almost done tracing. I'm going to do some more pom-pom gluing, and then we will start working on assembling our flower pot. So again, just wanted to give you guys some inspiration for your flower pot. Um, I will be using some Creatology foam sheets here in just a second. And then I also will show you how to use a pipe cleaner as an alternative option. And then Jen can also show one more time um, how to do it or what she did with the uh, toilet paper roll. So just so that we have a bunch of our options. I also love, and I know in the instructions we talked about using Model Magic. So that's just a modeling clay if you're not familiar with it, but you could create a cute little base and then put the paper um, into it. We have a question about if you could use Play-Doh instead of Model Magic. Definitely. Um, the thing about Model Magic is it will dry a little harder, a little faster, but Play-Doh will definitely mold well and hold your cactus up. So really you're just looking for any kind of um, way to make this have a stand so that it becomes um, a little piece of decor. All right, so while I'm waiting for my glue to dry, I was just going to take my markers and do a little bit more decorating. Actually, first I'm gonna clean this, move this paper away. We got a lot of it going on over here. I don't know about you guys. Um, and then once we're done with that, I'm gonna do just a little bit of decorating to make some cute faces some little pokes on my cactus. And then, like I said, we will move on to the flower pot. My cactus keeps blowing over with my fan in here. <laughs> All right, so what I'm taking for um, the little ticks on here is just a pencil and just making little V shapes um, along the lines. And then my daughter did these little squiggly lines um, there's obviously a bunch of different ways you can get the movement to come through on your cactus. And I'm sure you guys are thinking of some fun ways to do that too with different squiggles and tick marks and V shapes um, to get that little movement to show that you have a prickly little cactus. So definitely if you are working through this right now, feel free to show each other in the chat. We loved seeing all of your colors the first time and would love to see how the decorating is going with your faces and pom-poms. All right, so once those are on, I'm taking my marker and making a face. So I'm just giving her some eyes and eyelashes and some pink cheeks. Just a little bit of personality here. And I'm going to go ahead and do that on both cactus real quick. All right. Hope everyone can see kind of what we're doing here. I have a bunch of different cactus laid out. Um, Bellamy made some, I made some, we got our pom poms attached. Our little eyelash faces getting drawn on. Nine? And we are going to keep moving on. Next, we will be doing the flower pot. So, how's everyone doing out there? You got some cactuses going? Show them to me if you don't mind. Hold them up. Let's see how you're doing out there. I see a bunch of good cutting skills live and in action. 
I saw a really cute one just a second ago with a big smile on the cactus, so I absolutely love that. Jen, does yours have a face? Uh, mine does not have its face yet, so you can see I just put them together. You can you can kind of see it as I lift it that I've put the I've interlocked them, but I'm still letting them dry because my little pom poms are just not set yet. So I'm gonna start working on my little pot and get it ready so that by the time these little guys dry, I can set it up in the in the pot and they won't fall off. Yes. <laughs> That's, that's always where my brain goes. It's like, how do I get this to dry so it doesn't yeah. fall? I don't want to do it twice. Yeah. Well, I tried, so I, if you try a hair dryer, which I tried earlier um, when I was playing with this, I, it just blows them off the cactus. So it's you really kind of, have to try the patience. <laughs> yeah. You're really forced to let it dry, air dry. <laughs> I know pom poms going everywhere. I thought, it, I was like, oh, this will be a good idea. And as soon as I turned it on, boom, they were gone. I thought of you this morning because I was like, Jen's going to tell me to use a blow dryer. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jen, just know Jen used a blow dryer and it didn't work out so good. All right. So for the flower pot, this is a piece of sticky foam. Um, it's a small creatology sticky foam. So it has the sticky backing. I'm leaving the backing on. And what I did is on the back, I just drew in about three quarters of an inch um, increments for the base. When I, I did these kind of freehanded and when I met, went back and measured them, it feels like three quarter of an inch is a really good height for both cactuses. Um, the other thing that I'll tell you is I did measure the strips. So for the wide cactus, it was about five and a half inches long. And for the tall cactus, it was about four inches long. So if you're looking for precise measurements, I made these three quarters of an inch wide. And then once I cut them out, five and a half inches long for the wide guy and about four inches long for the short guy or the skinny guy and those just seem to work really well for me so i wanted to go ahead and share that with all of you so uh, like i said if you're looking for precise measurements that's how i did it if you're using a different material so if you're using hard stock um if you're using a felt sheet if you're using a different type of foam you might want to do something slightly different but at least it can get you started with what seemed to work for me. The other thing I'll tell you is I took a pipe cleaner and what I did was I just wrapped it around a, 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 white, a broad tip marker. So this is just Crayola washable broad tip marker. And just to give me a nice round shape, I started here. I'll tell you guys, the first time I did it, I wrapped it around this and it didn't stay tight enough. So my recommendation is to go smaller up front it's easier to make it spread out than it is to make it scrunch back together, if that makes sense. So I just wrap it around that to give it a nice round shape. And then once I get it to the size that I like, it's about three or four times around. You can use the pipe cleaner. As you know, they mold really well. So you just kind of work it with your fingers, um, get it to the right round shape, and then you can use the little edge to tuck under, hold it together, and that also could become a flower pot. So I made a pink one earlier, but as you can see, it's a real quick option. And then um, it gives you kind of a moldable base that you can stand your cactus on. So there you go. Uh, remind everybody, if you guys have questions, remember to send Lindsay uh, your chats um, so she can call them out to us and we can help you along. And I think um, if we can, it's about the halfway point, if we want to kind of go back, Catherine, and summarize yeah. kind of like the steps that you went through to get where we are. Yeah, definitely. So um, for anyone who joined us late, what we did is we took our template and we just laid it over. Some cardstock. You can tell I've already cut this one out. Anyway, you'll cut out your cactus into uh, the shapes on the template. And then the thing that you're going to want to make sure is that you go back and cut along the dotted line on your cutout to make the slits. That's what makes us be able to form a 3D cactus is having the slits on your cardstock. So once you're done, you'll decorate. My tip was if you want to do any glue, start there because this is the first one that I did and it's just about dry, which means she's just about ready to be assembled. So um, 
the biggest thing to remember is follow the template as closely as you can. Don't forget the slits because that's what makes your cactus a 3D character. And then when you're done with all of that, you'll set it aside while you make your flower pot. So what I used was foam sheets. You can also use more cardstock. Um, Jen showed us how to make one with a toilet paper roll or a craft roll. Um, we also looked at a different way to make a flower pot with a pipe cleaner. You can use putty, Play-Doh, Model Magic, lots of different options. Um, whatever you have around the house that will hold your cactus up and give it a base. Jen, can we look at Catherine, your Catherine, could you go over the measurements that you used for the foam again? We have yep. a couple of questions. Yep, so what I did is on the back of the foam, and if you're using construction paper or another kind of paper, I feel like this measurement worked really well for me, was I just made three quarter of an inch strips. So measured three quarter of an inch and drew a line. Um, and I made four because we're making two cactuses for me and two for my daughter, but three quarters of an inch wide. And then once I cut them out, I have my strips here. I'm using five and a half inch strip for the wide cactus and a four inch long strip for the skinny cactus. That's just what worked for me in trying to uh, roll them and make a cactus that held them up properly. So if you are with us on that step, I'm just double checking the length of my um, foam rolls so that I can make their little um, flower pots. And I would love for Jen to show us her uh, painted flower pot again and the accessories that she made to go with her cactuses. So Jen, if you are ready, we'd love to see it. So I just finished, and this is going to be a little bit difficult to show, so I'm going to kind of bring it up at an angle here so you can see with my camera. It looks so good. I put uh, a cotton ball down inside the little uh, pot and then I put the cactus down in it. And then I've taken these really tiny rocks and I've set them on top of the cotton ball. So it looks like a cute little planter and it holds it, not only does it help push down the cotton ball and cover it up, but it helps hold the cactus in and you don't have to glue it that way. So it's really easy to do and, it, and you can do it really fast because like I said, you're not gluing anything. I love that. It's easy peasy. The other thing I like about the foam um, that we're using is that you don't have to glue that either. Just peel off a little piece, stick it together into a flower pot and you are all set. So once you have your flower pot decided, your cactus cut out and decorated, it's just assembly time. And this is why I like the foam. It's just as simple as that. I made the loop. Again, this size was about four inches. And then for this cactus, I did five and a half inches. And all I do on the strip is just take the end, about half inch, tear off the backing, make a loop and adhere it together and you're ready to go. So I made the first one here. This was my demo. And then while Jen was talking, I made my other flower pot. So like I said, I just peeled off the very end, attached it together. And then now that my cactus, my pom-poms are dry, just doing some quick assembly to slide them together. As you guys know, this is why those slits are so important to make your 3D cactus and slip them in his flower pot. There we go. And then my daughter, while we were doing all of this, she took the uh, template and made just a scene. So this is another great thing, especially if you guys have younger kids out there or kids who are not wanting to use scissors today. Um, she drew her cactuses on a piece of paper, decorated them, and as you can see, added giant cotton balls. <laughs> so I also have a younger child, he's four. So that is definitely something my four-year-old would like to do um, while my older child and I do flower pots and make a more scissor skills type of craft. So lots of options for you guys today. One more time, I would love to ask um, if everyone would like to show us their craft. We'd love to see how you're doing out there. 
And if you have any questions or if there's a step you'd like me to go back over, please just chat up Lindsay. I see a lot of cute ones. Thanks you guys for showing us. I love all their little faces. Lots of cute cactus emojis out there. Lots of fun colors. We have a question about how, if you can decorate the foam part for the pot, if you can paint it or use pom-poms on it. Absolutely. Um, hard to see in the video, but mine is glitter. You might be able to see it there. So I didn't decorate it because she has some serious sparkle. If I had a flat foam, I would definitely be drawing on there or gluing. Um, that's how our demo also was on the um, sign up. It had some decorations with markers, but because this glitter tends to be really rough on marker tips, I try not to use marker on top of it, but you could absolutely glue on um, sequins, pom-poms, draw with markers. Definitely feel free to personalize your flower pots. In our house, this actually matches what we have in our flower pots. So it fits right in with our home decor. So that is how I chose what to do with mine. We have a couple people asking if you could show again how you did the foam pot and the um, toilet roll one. Sure. So for the foam, I cut out three quarter inch wide strips. And then for the length, I made the wide flower pot five and a half inches long. So just took my ruler and measured to five and a half inches. And then all you do is tear off the backing for the end about half inch, roll it together and adhere it. And you are ready to go with your flower pot. And then we'll go to Jen for the paper. Yeah. Okay, so mine is a little bit more, I guess, intense than Catherine's <laughs> uh, pre-cut foam. Um, so what I did was I took this uh, Creatology paint. So you can see here, let me kind of move that like that. So it's just the washable paint and the little pouch. This stuff is awesome. I took brown, red, and orange, and I mixed it together, and it gives you this cool, like, terracotta look. And I just cut, like, an inch, an inch and a quarter off of the end of a toilet paper roll. And you can do that with scissors. Um, you know, if you want to get mom or dad to do that with your exacto, an exacto knife, that works too. And then you're just going to paint the outside of it. And then whichever side you want to be the top, I painted down inside it a little bit because this part will show just a little. And then uh, once it's dry, you take half of a cotton ball like this, and you're going to put it down inside, kind of fluff it. That one's not very fluffy. Kind of fluff it up a little bit like this, and you put it down inside, and then you're gonna put your cactus down in on top of it, like so, like this. And you can see that there's pockets down here beside the cactus. So then I just quartered the rest of my cotton ball and poked it down in the sides here, like this. And then you see how there's cotton, you can see, oh, see I lost one of my little, I lost my little bubble where there's cotton in here, I just put rocks in on top of it. So it covers up the cotton ball. So it's easy to do. These are just little rocks that I found in my yard. So nothing fancy. Yeah, we love painted rocks over here, as you know. So you could also paint some. Um, I'm just assembling the rest of our cactuses. We're basically gonna have a cactus party later because we've got a bunch of them going on over here. We've decorated all of ours with pom-poms and marker. Um, we have some emoji faces on these guys, and then I'm just assembling our final one here that my daughter made, which I love her creativity on this. And we'll put that in a flower pot, and then we are done. So just wanted to say thank you, everyone. And if there's any other questions you have, I can demonstrate one more thing again. Um, or it's time to show off your cactus one more time. Lindsay, how's everyone doing out there? Um, there are a few people who are wondering if you could go through the assembly of the cactus again. And if they can't get it to stay up, do you have any pointers for them? Um, I think tape is always our friend when it comes to standing up. So I know the first time I did mine, it kept kind of collapsing on itself. So you can always sneak a little bit of clear tape into your back layers 
which would be right here. I would just put a piece there, a piece here to help it um, stay kind of like that uh, X shape. And then with the flower pot, I think that's also what really helps you stand up. Again, that's why I like the foam or something more sturdy like Play-Doh, um, things like that will help it stand up better. And then for the assembly instructions, no problem. That's why we make the slits, right guys? Um, so the slits are what enable you to make your cactus 3D. So you're just sliding the bottom side up on the top. And then like I said, if you need help making it sturdy, some clear tape on the back is always my friend. Jen, do you have any other thoughts on how we can make it sturdy? I love the clear um, tape. But. Yeah, so, so again, that was what I found with mine, like just putting it straight into the, the little holder. It did seem to want to fall over because I felt like the cardstock was a little too heavy. So I, I literally ran out into my flower bed and grabbed a few rocks here. Um, but if you don't have rocks, you could use like colored beads or, you know, like the, the big plastic beads. Um, you, could, you could put foam down on top of it. If you're using the foam method, if you cut a circle uh, in the foam that's the same size as the top, and then you cut an X in the top of it, you can actually slip the uh, cactus down into that X and then glue the foam top onto the base. And that would actually help keep it sturdy as well. That's a good point. I also like, um, it does take some patience, but using the pipe cleaner it really gives you some leverage to uh, make a base that forces it to stand up. It definitely took me a few tries of kind of playing with the wire, but once you kind of get it locked on to the base of your card, uh, your card stock, then you can find a way to help it balance. Again, it took me a few tries. So I'll tell you, I, uh, when I did this craft, I had similar issues, Lindsay, that you're hearing from our friends out there. It's, that's definitely the fun of crafting, but it also can be a little painful sometimes with all the trial and error that you get to do. So definitely um, tape, glue is your friend, using a little bit of rocks or beads for weight, or otherwise just kind of reworking the materials that you have to get them to work for you um, are some of our best practices out here on our side. So. Anything else, friends? All right, well, Jen, it was so fun crafting with you guys again today. How many cactuses did you end up making? Uh, we just did the two. So the we did two. our little short guy and our tall guy. Yep. And where are we going to display them? Is Zoe around to tell me? No, Zoe had a glue emergency and has left for the bathroom. Okay. So. <laughs> well, I'm sure ours will go in Bellamy's bedroom. Um, right by the lanterns from a few weeks nice. ago and the unicorns that we made over the weekend. So. Yes, that's where the cactuses will go, is right, right by the unicorns, actually. <laughs> we have now a crafting display, which will be... Yep. The lanterns, the cactus, every cactus. That's right. They're all I present. like it. So, no, we don't have to throw away the cactus. <laughs> so speaking of all of the cool projects that we've been doing, uh, we do have a cool project next Next Thursday, if you guys are available and interested, uh, we'll be building a castle book. So if you haven't signed up yet for our kids club on Thursday, please go to our website and sign up today while there's still spots. We would love to see your faces again. And as always, if you want to share the cool project you've done today, remember hashtag make it at Michael's right behind me here. Um, and you can put that on Instagram, Facebook, it doesn't matter and we'll be able to see all your cool stuff. Oh, there we go, Catherine's got it too. All right. Can't Thank wait you so much for joining us today. Thank you for joining me today. It's been fun. Bye.